Yo, 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 guys, it's me, Bash Brother One. It's been a while, I haven't made a video. I've been hitting live streams, come in, say hi. But here's Bash Brothers State for State Preparation Phase Guide. So there's five days, guys, and we're gonna break it down in one video. Because that's all it's needed. I don't need to make a video for each day. Bear with me. So please like and subscribe. Let's get some more followers. Another thing to look at, new heroes, Reyna, Amos, Lynn. I'll be making a hero guide again, and I'll break down some of the older heroes. But let's hop to her. All right, guys, real quick, before I dive too much into this state of power event, this is the first one ever. Things could change, but this will at least give you some type of heads up. You can get a game plan going together as a state and hopefully help you guys in the future maybe even against uh, state one so you all might be aware of this from my live streams but this is what the state of power tab looks like you got the preparation phase is what we're in right now five days we're on power boost day number five so go to sub phase targets and this is where we're going to get the breakdowns here so day number one was city construction so you can use chief gear charm scores, fire crystals, speed ups for construction, speed ups for research, and speed ups for training. I would just focus on construction on this one, guys. Uh, one thing to take into account for, we'll go real quick to the rules. We're gonna go quickly. We're gonna look at battle phase. And to battle with the opposing chief here, provided that the difference in furnace level of both sides is not greater than three. So I will verify this later. But you will gain points from e for enemy troops eliminated or own troops injured. So as long as it's not greater than three. So it, it, I mean, like if I'm tier five and I attack a tier one furnace, it's saying I'm not going to get points in this battle phase. So keep that in mind, you guys. Maybe it might not be best to go tier five yet. I'm not tier five. A really strong tier three a really strong tier four because there's there's updates on the troops might be better than a tier five because maybe a tier five doesn't have all their tier four troops so keep that in mind guys because then you can attack differently so we got city construction on day one that's already established day number two's basic skills up so we'll we'll break down that one here so we got fire crystals again speed ups for construction Speed ups for research, speed ups for training. Hold off on training. Next day is going to be training. But you have the lucky wheel. The so lucky wheel is going to come up, and then you can start using your hero shards. Then, for mainly, <laughs> I, I like to say free to play because they're better at gathering than the pay players, but gather meat, wood, coal, and iron for points. So it's going to be hard to get those level eights, but get it out there, enable your boost. And it'll be worth it for the points in this stage. All right, guys. Last one. Well, I mean, not last one, but this is what I was talking about. Training troops. This is where I would use my speed ups on troops. You get more points. So any way you train troop, you will get points. Chief gear charms are back for points this day. Lucky wheel still here. And you can still use your shards. So day three is train troops. You can use your shards and chief gear charms day number four hero development so after you just got all those new heroes start using essence stones for points start using your widgets chief gear charm scores they're there again so you can save up and any day that you have so for all those free to play players um would i save up my charm score here possibly because let's look at this real quick this is about activity so 30,000 points if you participate in a rally for polar terrors it doesn't count these are your own rallies that you call and you have to hunt them down so doesn't matter what level 30,000 points is the best but you can also just do things solo 26 to 30 beast that'll give you enough points 
So day number five, the last day we're on that right now, is power boost. And it's basically gear essence stones, chief gear, so not the charms, is la the only day I've seen chief gear on there. Fire crystals, minutes of speed ups. So research and construction boost right now are enabled for us. I uh, I don't use my speed ups immediately when I got the skill. I'm I'm still working on it because I'm I'm wanting people to press the help button for me so I get more speed ups. I know I'm I'm cheap I'm cheap. So guys, that's the basic just five days. The power boost day, the hero development, the train troops that all can change. So guys. I will copy these in sh these little details. I'll put them in, in the description down below of each day what the points are so you guys can understand and you guys can share. But that's all there is to prep phase. Battle phase is coming in 18 hours. So cheers. Have a good one, guys. Apologies guys, uh, Lil Bash Brother was just waking up, so I want to drop right in real quick here. Our state versus state is concluded. If you watch live streams, you know the results. State 1 versus state 2, state 3 versus state 7. Next video will be the state versus state battle of ours. Then I'll break down the field triage, the healing sage, some tricks that you guys might be able to do that we did. And so you guys aren't so confused or worried about doing attacks, because you get 90% of your troops back. So subscribe and like, guys. I know I said it lots, but let's get uh, the subscribers up for me. Cheers. Have a good one. We'll talk later.